In physics measurements, we aim for the utmost precision with the best accuracy achievable. Here precision means the ability to reproduce a measurement and should not be confused with accuracy, which indicates the level of conformity with the actual value of a quantity. So we need to distinguish between precision and accuracy. Both are important. Precision, ability to reproduce a measurement. Ability to re reproduce measurement. Accuracy, in contrast, ability to reproduce the actual value of a quantity. While both precision and accuracy are aimed for in an experimental physics, in practice, however, it is also often very useful to guesstimate. Why are guesstimates useful? For example, to anticipate a measurement, or better, to anticipate the result of a measurement. Or, for example, to verify the correctness of a calculation. Verify the correctness of a calculation. Or, for example, to quickly evaluate something. For example, a suggestion or a problem. Quickly evaluate a problem or a suggestion. In, in such guesstimates, one often only aims for order of magnitude estimates. Order of magnitude. That means to the power of 10 guesstimates of a problem. Such uh, procedures, such approaches are, have been made famous by Enrico Fermi, who used them to select among his graduate students and uh, find the best. Such guesstimates are therefore also called, often called back on the envelope. Back on the envelope cal calculations, or they are referred to as Fermi problems. Let's do one of those. Someone claims a thief escapes with a suitcase full of gold. Is that possible? Guestimate the answer. Well, you might say, the gold price at the moment is roughly of the order, in fact a bit larger, than a thousand dollars per ounce. You know an ounce is something, not exactly, but it's approximately 30 grams, and you can establish the equation 1 billion dollars, that's 10 to the 9 dollars, that is equivalent to 10 to the 6 ounces, yeah, because of this, and if we convert ounces into gram, we find that that is equal to 10 to the 6 times 30 grams, which is in SI units 3 times 10 to the 4 kilograms. In other words, that's 30 metric tons. You would say hardly something that is that can be carried in a suitcase. So 
So if we've got our sieve trying to carry this suitcase here. Many, many newtons. would pull it down and he would crash. One can arrive at this result in a different way by looking at the volume of such an amount of gold. Well, we might not know exactly the density of gold, but surely it's gold is more dense than water. And the density of water we know, that's one gram per cubic centimeter. It's more, but it's not that much more. Maybe it's of the order of 10 times the density of water, the density of gold that is. Surely it's not not a hundred times the density of water. Not that much, but maybe 10 times. That's a good guess. So let's work with this value. Let's say the density of gold is 10 grams per cubic centimeters. If you look it up, you actually find the actual value, actual value of the density of gold is 19.3 grams per cubic centimeters. But we're guessing, so we're working with 10. And um, thus, one billion dollars. worth of gold, as we've already worked out, here has a mass of 3 times 10 to the 4 kilograms, 3 times 10 to the 4 kilograms, and that can be converted into volume by using the definition of density, rho equals mass per volume, that goes in here, therefore we obtain volume equals mass divided by density. If we substitute with the mass of that suitcase full of gold, 3 times 10 to the 4 kilograms, divided by our guess, our guesstimate for the density of gold, 10 grams per centimeter cubed, then we convert everything in comp into compatible units, in particular kilogram in, into grams, and also centimeters into meters, and we obtain 3 times 10 to the 4, as before, and um, kilograms times meters cubed, that's the centimeters cubed converted, divided by 10 to the power of minus 2 kilograms, and that's the same as 3 cubic meters. So our suitcase, which might be large, but it will never fit one cubic meter of gold. Surely it won't fit three cubic meters of gold. However, so it's not gold. No thief can ex escape with a billion dollars worth of gold in a suitcase. But what about diamonds? Diamonds are the thief's best friend. Would they fit? Into a suitcase? Well, you know how to do it. Guesstimate. 